What if it wasn't all just a dream? alternate ending. Ten years after that final game I played with Leeds United, I've been away from this game that I loved so much for ten years. And as soon as I made the decision to retire, I knew it was the right one. Spending time with my family since we've left, a lot has gone on. Me and my wife have been living comfortably back in my home country of Portugal. My son playing for Real Madrid. He's made it to their senior team. But for me, 10 years away from the game, there's something missing. I knew I'd get involved back with football again sooner in life. I just needed a break. And I think the break was over. Now, playing professionally wasn't an option. Yeah, I could manage a team. I could go out there and coach even a youth team. I didn't even need to go right to the senior level. But I wanted to keep playing. And I knew I couldn't play competitively for a huge European club. Street football was an option for me. It's something I'd always tossed around, and it's something that I did as a child. Play 3v3, 4v4, 5v5. And I found, I think, just what I was looking for. So... This was what I wanted to do. Me and my wife packed things up. We decided to leave Portugal for the time being. And it was time to begin my journey as a professional footballer. Not at the senior level. Not playing for a big club like Barcelona. Not going back to Leeds United. Some other club that I've played for already know. We are going to go at the goal. Becoming one of the best and most elite street players of all time. And I'm going out on a limb here. Yes, street football is, is, is something that I think I'd be good at, and I definitely have the skill for it. But being removed 10 years from the game of football, what if I'm a flop? What if I can't make it? What if, what if I ruin my name and reputation? I'm putting it all out on the line. The next chapter of my life begins now. I looked around the world for, for former footballers, for friends I've known in the community for years, and we built the dream team to play on the streets. And our journey around the world in this pro circuit begins here in Brazil. This is where the tournament kicks off. This is where we begin. A lot of recognizable faces in this group. Maybe not for you, but this is 10 years down the road. We're in the year 2040 at this point. And it is time, boys, to begin this career. We've recruited the players we need, and it's time for this street career to begin. We're in Brazil, in the favelas. Rio de Janeiro is the location where the league is going to kick off, and games are already about to get underway. So let's get into it. The street football career begins. Now we're right into the match. Yes, we're using Volta Football. Why would we not be using Volta Football? It's perfect for this storyline. And let's get in to this match. Team Ruiz, their first career game, 3v3. Let's get into it. It feels weird, doesn't it? Seeing Rafael Ruiz back, you know what? Some of you were so disappointed with that dream ending. I had to give you the alternate ending. And some of you may think you know where this episode's going but you don't so stay tuned the street career begins and it's Ruiz already getting things started with um well let's just say a, a very forgettable goal that one <laughs> was not great yo boy it has been a, a while since I've touched Volta legitimately a year a year from today was when I was like posting the videos in the Volta story mode that was a year ago today I don't think I've touched the Volta since team Ruiz up three nil 
and it would be a bit of a back and forth action here in this second half. Is it weird seeing Volta? Do you guys watch Volta content? I think for FIFA 21, I'm going to be bringing back Volta content to the channel. I want Volta to be good. I want people to enjoy watching Volta. Um, it's just, it's hard to play at some point. But here we go. Team Ruiz is getting the job done. And through this international competition with the 5v5, 3v3, 4v4 action, we would be competing all across the world. Tournament after tournament. Next stop, we go to Argentina. After that, the USA. Then over to Europe, London, France. We're heading all over the world and ending in hopefully the ultimate stage, the grand championships. But right now to kick off our career, a 7-4 win. And just like that, the championships were over, and we'd done it. We'd won the final, we'd beaten all the best teams in the world, champions of the street scene, of the Volta scene, celebrating on the beaches of the USA where the final was being held. And that was it. I felt fulfilled, back, playing the game I love. And there was just one thing missing. Throughout this entire process, I loved being back playing football. But after it had ended, after winning the final, there was something that I was missing. And I discussed it with my wife. And there was a next step that I needed to take in my career. I sat up late at night, almost every night, thinking about it. If this was the option that I wanted to take, I loved playing street football. I loved being back playing the game. But the competition that I craved was European football. Would it be a return? Maybe joining my son and trying to get back to the senior level, playing with Real Madrid? Or, who knows, do I even have it in me? Should I start an even smaller club, playing for a League 4 team in England? How can I get back out on that football pitch and crave that European competition that I loved so much? Maybe it wasn't European competition that I needed. Maybe it was somewhere else. Playing in Brazil, Argentina, the MLS, somewhere in North America, South America? hopped on the phone to call my son, who was very busy playing at Real Madrid. And he, he gave me the advice that I think I needed. My playing days are over. Leave it in the past, he said. Leave playing in the past, but don't leave the entire game in the past, is what he told me. And I think that's exactly what I needed to hear. I'm done playing football. Who am I to think that I'm still, at 40 years old, able to go out and play professionally, play for a Real Madrid, or not even a Real Madrid, but a League 4 team? But I know my calling, and I know what I have to do. It's time. It's time to take my football talents to the next level. What comes after playing, I think you all know very well. Somehow, after only telling a few people, the word has already gotten out. Rafael Ruiz ready to return to European football as a manager. Yes, that's right. We're heading back to the pitch. But this time, we're going to be wearing something a little bit different. We're going to be wearing our suit side. We're going to be managing. Which club will we start at? I'm so shocked the news is already talking about this. I mean, hell, someone was going to find out and... You guys know, man, I'm one of the greatest players to ever do it. If you watch the entire Ruiz career mode, you will know that we did it right. And the career we had was unmatched. What we were able to do on the pitch, the goals we were able to score, competitions we were able to win, playing alongside some of the greats, Rafael Ruiz. His name will go down amongst Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Zidane, Pele were that good. And now that we're becoming a manager, it's that big of a deal. So many clubs are looking for my signature. And we're not just going to be managing any club. No, we're not managing any small club. We are going straight to the top of European football. A few teams that are struggling a bit and aren't doing as well are looking for my name to be written on that uh, contract. They want me to be managing them. And I made my official announcement and the fans showed out. I said I'm becoming a manager, and I'm already starting to gain interest from plenty of clubs. Ruiz's career will continue as a manager. But when, you may ask, that is the question that everyone wants to know. Are we doing a FIFA 20 manager mode now with storylines? What is happening? Here's how it's going to work. 
going to throw off the story in a little bit because, you know, we're in the year 2040 in this mod player. We're not going to be continuing in FIFA 20. I'm making the announcement right here for you all to hear. FIFA 21 will begin with a manager career featuring Rafael Ruiz. And you, you guys have to know this is going to mess the story up a little bit because it should be your 2040. But in, when FIFA 21 starts, we will be controlling Rafael Ruiz. And you, you guys know it'll just put us back to FIFA 20. So it, it's going to be a, a little bit interesting to see how that works. You know, Messi and Ronaldo are still going to be playing. They were heavily involved in the storyline. So you're just going to have to bear with me there. There's no real other way we could do it with Ruiz. But the team that I'll be managing... It's looking like it's going to be Chelsea. I want to start FIFA 20 with a Chelsea manager career mode. That's been my goal for the longest time. And I guess we're doing it with Ruiz if you guys want. All right. 10,000 likes in this video and it's going to happen. If not, we'll just do a normal manager career to start FIFA 21. But this is the ending I wanted to give you guys because uh, you guys know so many of you were mad with the dream ending. So this is your alternate ending how it was supposed to happen. If you guys enjoyed, leave the like, 10K, and we're rocking the Ruiz manager career for the next FIFA. And with that, we'll catch you boys later. Peace.